Hi everyone, Lady Amalthea here with day 20 of 31 Days of Tarot 2020. So, today's prompt is what is your favourite lover's card and why? Now, I've done what I did with the High Priestess prompt and pulled all of the lover's cards oops, from all of my decks. So I'm going to go through them one by one and tell you what I like about them and tell you who the artist creators are. Okay, number one, in no particular order, this is just the order they've appeared on my desk. From The Moonchild by Danielle Noel, The Lovers. Gorgeous card, oh my goodness. Look at this, this card is just, radiates with light and beauty and there's flowers and a pyramid and oh, so magical. And then, The Lovers from the Lumina Tarot by uh, Inna Hugh and there's Laura Aletta and illustrated by Tegan Sivney, Sivney? Honestly, I'm not sure. Look at that, wolves. Oh my God, wolves. Love wolves. And then we have from The Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Krantz, The Lovers, and are those geese? I think those are geese. They're just absolutely beautiful. And the colors that radiate from this card, stunning. And then from The Kawaii Tarot by uh, Diana Lopez, I believe. Hang on. I flipped my piece of paper around. Diana Lopez. Yes, that's the one. Absolutely. Just super, super cute. Nice and simple, like all the cards in the Kawaii Tarot. And from the Line Strider Tarot, pair of, I think these are herons? I think they're herons. Don't quote me. I'm not sure. But the beautiful artwork we're all familiar with from the Line Strider Tarot by CLO Thompson. And from the Tabula Edom, the Lover's Card, and this one is by Nero O'Reilly, and it's a queer card. Look at that. Oh, look at that gorgeous couple. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love the colors too. From the Naked Heart Tarot by Gillian C. Wilde, and these are eagles. And they are beautiful. There's a, I'm noticing a lot of birds in these animal decks for um, the lovers' cards. Interesting. And from the Crystal Unicorn Tarot by Pamela Chen, illustrated by Lisa Higuchi. Lovely lover's card. And the Crystal Unicorn Tarot is a Rider Waite Smith clone that just replaces everything with unicorns and crystals. Love it. This is one of my favorites, definitely, from the Shadowscapes by um, Stephanie Poomin Law. And this is just, hang on, it's not quite focusing. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, elaborate gowns and just so much going on. And again, birds. I'm noticing birds is a bit of a theme for the lovers. Yeah. It's a really lovely, ornate card. Now, definitely a favorite. Sorry, if you knows. Um, from the Next World Tarot by, I know I know this, I know I know this, I wrote it down, Christy C. Road, The Lovers. And now what I love about this is this is more of a card about self-love because um, the person is facing themselves in the mirror and the mirror self is coming out and handing them spoons and we see a disabled body. Uh, to me, it's a queer coded body as well. And the fact that they've got a, a cane and they're fat and tattooed, it's just, it's just wonderful. Like, it's a beautiful, beautiful card. And from the Lioness Oracle Tarot by Alejandra Leon, absolutely gorgeous lover's card. Ancient statuary and roses, what a great combination. And last but not least, two for the price of one from the last unicorn tarot really confused me when I unboxed this that there are in fact two lovers cards so this one features Prince Lear and Lady Amalthea and you can see down the bottom Prince Lear is writing his love note and it's just a beautiful beautiful lovers card and also 
another lover's card is Smendrick and the tree. <laughs> this one just cracks me up. Um, he gets tied to a tree by a band of outlaws and he does a tr spell on the tree and he accidentally brings the tree to life. Smendrick's not so good with his magic at this point in the story. And the cards from the last unicorn tarot um, from that particular section, because uh, there's a few different illustrators for them. Um, they are illustrated by Adriana Tama Arachne. Absolutely gorgeous cards. So yeah, I just, I picked a few different ones um, because I don't have an absolute favorite. And because I only have the 12 decks at the moment, Lightseers will arrive any day. It's scheduled to arrive between the 20th and the 28th or something, and it is the 20th today, so who knows? I might get lucky. Unlikely, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so those are those are the lovers' cards. I tell you what, though, I drew Nine of Swords as my daily draw for today from The Last Unicorn Tarot, which, oh, God. And then... Um, I've got the Golden Thread Tarot app on my phone that's decided to start giving me notifications for daily draws. So I was like, okay, I'll, 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 I'll pick a card. It was a three of swords. What is going to happen with my day today? I was planning on, on doing um, my video and watching Doctor Who and going to some medical things. And I'm like, nine of swords, three of swords? Really? Really? I don't need this. So... I'm going to enjoy my tea and maybe have a bicky and just try and, you know, be nice and calm and not let the energy of those two cards get to me because really it's the last thing I need right now. Um, I can't remember if there was anything else I wanted to say. It was really weird not making a video yesterday because <laughs> yeah, I did my two for the price of one the other day. Um, so yeah, it was really weird not actually making a video yesterday. So here's today's video. Um, thank you to everyone who's been watching and commenting and subscribing and all those wonderful YouTube things. I just, yeah, massive thanks. And I look forward to watching people's videos and, you know, all that good stuff. And many blessings. And I will see you all tomorrow.